Hello and welcome to our uh, demo video for our application. So in our project we build a web application with the RBE, the Raiffeisenbank International, to uh, monitor their Apache Postal installation. Apache Postal is a pub sub service. So uh, yeah, the, the mission we had was to have a look into the topology and have an overview how it works and if all the data is there. Therefore we build a web uh, UI with React and uh, backend with Spring Boot uh, and Java. Uh, yeah, the both components uh, communicate over REST endpoints. Um, inside the backend, we have an uh, API layer where we use controllers with uh, standardized endpoints. The controllers communicate with services, and uh, the services communicate over the Pulsar admin API with the Pulsar installation. So we get all our data. Uh, through this uh, API. So now that we have an overall understanding of the backend architecture, let's explore how the user interface looks in the frontend. As you can see, we have three main elements in the in the screen view, namely the cards list, and the filters, and the navigation bar. Since Pulsar instances have different levels of inner topologies, such as tenants, namespaces, and topics, you will find each of these inside the main navigation bar. Switching between views will allow you to pick the topology of the elements or cards that will be shown. One advantage of our UI is that it offers for a seamless transition between different topology pages thanks to the filters and the drilling operations. So for example, when a user clicks on drill down, they go one topology deeper into, into the instance and the selected elements gets added automatically to the filters. By using the same logic, users can also drill up. So let's reset the filters. And let's say we are interested in this specific tenant we just click on the name and you see that we are redirected to the tenant view and the selected tenant is also added automatically to the filter in addition all elements can be filtered based on the topology levels that are equal or above them only exception are topics which can also be filtered based on producers and subscriptions so let's say we want all the topics of this producer all we have to do is click on the radio button and here we get our results Lastly, Pulsar offers a variety of detailed information regarding each topology level. So just as a use case, let's imagine you are an employee who has been given the task of checking if there is a field with the name line of business in the schema of the messages that are inside this topic. At first, you are obviously confused by the task, but thankfully you have the Pulsar UI installed and running. Therefore, all you have to do is click on the drill down button. Here you see all the messages that are included within the topic. And now you check if a field line of business is included in, the, in their schema. And sure enough, here it is. And you have, you, you have completed your task in a matter of seconds, thanks to our UI.